As Typhoon Kunlun continues to send heavy rain and strong winds to Taiwan, weather experts stress that the main condition for this unusually moderate typhoon, likely to have a long lifespan, is partially due to the influence of the monsoon gyro. The typhoon's center is located 350 kilometers northeast of Taiwan early Friday, and is slowly heading northwest north at a speed of 7 kilometers per hour, likely to affect Taiwan for a longer time as it turns north. Typhoon Kanun has a long lifespan, mainly because the environment was suitable for its growth during the process of approaching the Ryukyu Islands from the distant ocean, and it apparently slowed down after getting closer to the islands. Experts named several unusually long-lived typhoons recorded in Taiwan's history, known for their bizarre and unpredictable path. One of them was Typhoon Wayne in 1986 which hammered Taiwan for around 20 days after changing its path three times due to influences of multiple high pressures and frontal surfaces, causing 68 deaths, 19 missing, and 442 injured. Another one was Typhoon Nari in 2001, which experts described as similar to Typhoon Kunlun as it lingered near the northeast of Taiwan before traversing through the southwest, leaving 94 casualties and 10 reported missing. Typhoon the length of a typhoon's life cycle is closely related to the strength of its steering flow. When the steering flow is weak or unidentifiable, the typhoon tends to move slower, spin around, or stay in place. Experts predict that Typhoon Canoe might be near the Ryukyu Islands within the next one to three days. The Central Weather Bureau also warned of strong winds in northern Taiwan on Friday, and heavy rainfall events will occur in central and southern parts of the country in the coming week. Jiang Zhiwei, Zhong Yilun, Isabel Wang, TVBS World Taiwan.